guys, it's me, Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. How are you doing today? It looks crappy. Yes, I am. Today, we're going to talk about our favorite subject, which is sales. All right. It's raining, so if it sounds like it, it is, okay? What is our subject for today? It's called, Who is Talking More, You or Your Customer, and Why Does It Matter? Why does it matter who's talking the most? Let me explain something to you. I've been in sales since the 80s in one form of capacity. And I'm going to tell you what. I've lost some really good opportunities because I talked myself out of a sale. That means I talked too much, gave too much information, and gave the customer the capability in their mind that maybe I shouldn't buy this because uh, I don't know what to do. Okay? And see, what happens is, is we want to sell stuff. And, you know, and everybody can sell stuff if, if you really try and you learn the fundamentals, but not everybody is a salesperson. And one of the key components of being a salesperson is you need to have what they call a selling conversation. A selling conversation basically means that you're asking basic, simple questions that can help the customer make an informed decision whether they should buy something from you or not. First off, they've got to trust you. And if you come off as a barker, bok, 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 talk, 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 talk about you, 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 the customer is going to feel alienated and they're going to feel frustrated. And sometimes when you talk too much, you know, a lot of times we forget. They, we're taking up their time. We're trying to get them to purchase from us. And the key to com the component to this is that we do a good job, but we make sure that we give the customer an opportunity to answer our questions. Now, make sure when you're asking questions that you're asking good questions, questions that will lead the customer in a direction that will help them again to make a good buying decision. You know, everybody wants to buy some stuff. They just don't want to be sold stuff. And see, I've been in sales a long time, so I kind of figured that out, but it took me a little while. Sometimes I still have to remember, Gary, you calm down a little bit, just relax, and just have the selling conversation. Remember, you know, our topic for today is who's talking more you or the customer and why it matters. If you're talking so much, it doesn't give the customer the capability to answer. It's just common sense, everybody. And selling, it's kind of like a game, really. You know, people, like I said, they want to buy stuff. And our simple job is to relay some basic information, tell them some features and some benefits, and then ask for the order. Now, it sounds simple, but in reality, it really isn't. It's a, it's a, sometimes there's a lot of things that go on, components of a sale. You know, you got to have objections, and you hopefully will have a little bit of objections in your selling presentation. And the reason being is because that means they're engaged with you. Now, if they're like, no, 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 then it might be time to, like a numbers game, go on to the next customer. But see, the key to success in this regard is get the customer to open up. Ask some opening questions, things that will make them go, yes, I think I can, I have, I've been there. And you want to ask these important questions because it makes you look professional. And when you're asking questions that can make the customer visualize themselves in the process of owning what you have to sell, it makes it much more simpler. Like I said, if they can see in their mind's eye that they can purchase something that they can use need or want they're more capable of investing and buying from you but you got to remember just ask some nice questions i've been in many presentations where i knew that i had a sale but remember i told you i've talked myself out of a sale because i kept talking and talking and talking and i'm going to keep this video very simple when i'm with my customers now and i feel there's an inkling because they seem engaged or look at me and I always look at my customers eye to eye. I don't look down at the floor. I don't look at their chest if they're a female. I look them directly in the eye and I talk to them. And again, what I try to do is open them up and ask questions. Well, what are you using now? Have you ever heard of this product before? What kind of product? What do you know about our product? Do you know anybody who has it? Have you ever thought about having 
See what I'm saying? There's a lot of good questions that your company can offer you as far as ammunition to use when you're having a selling conversation. It's a presentation time because it's ebb and flow. It's giving back. Because see, if you can keep a customer engaged, they're more inclined not to walk away from you or say, eh, I'm not interested, okay? So keep it very simple and be full of manners, guys. Have good manners and don't get frustrated if people throw up objections. That doesn't mean you have lost the sale. Matter of fact, a lot of great salespeople have told me, hey, if you ain't getting no objections, they ain't buying. And see, at least it gives you the capability to give them back information. Oh, so it's not the right color. Oh, so if you got it, what color do you think would be best for you? Okay, blue. Okay, and and why did you choose blue? Okay, you like blue because you might remind you of your mom. Now, what about the size of this room? Do you like this style? See, there's just a lot of good questions that you can ask to get the customer to open up. And guys, get a little pad and a piece of paper and write down that information. And as often as you can, make sure you know their name. Don't go, dude, I mean, don't get me wrong. You, you can be yourself, but make sure you use their name, especially when you're asking questions. Again, it makes them feel important and it knows that you look at them as important too. And when you're talking to them, have your pad and piece of paper. Sometimes I have a list of questions that I want to ask. And a lot of times I don't need to, but it's good sometimes to revert back to those questions to keep me on track. It's just like a script, you know, basically lets you remember where you're at in the selling process. And if you don't have a selling process, you will because you're going to have to because you won't make as many sales and you won't know what to do next. So while you're in your selling process and you're talking to your customers, just make sure you're engaging the customers. Let them tell you things they like. Ask them, well, what did you like about your old one? What do you think in the future you would like to do with your new one? Or is anybody else besides yourself going to help make this informed decision? See, these are questions that can open up the customer and say sometimes yes or no, because you got closed in questions, then you got opened in questions that will make the customer go, okay. <clears throat> but remember, if you're a chatterbox and you go on and on and on and on and on, what happens is they get this glazed look over their eyes like, damn, I wish this guy would hurry up and get out of my space. I'm ready to get on to something else. And always remember, your time is very valuable. But see, the customer, if they perceive you care about them and not you, that you're in it for them and not you, they'll be more inclined to listen. And it's hard to get a, a customer, I'm telling you, especially if you go out door to door knocking or if you call people, cold calling over the phone. And I've had videos about cold calling and stuff like that. If you've got a warm lead where they know you're coming out there, you know, they're going to put up their little bit of walls, but they may need what you're having to offer. But you got to remember, you got to stay focused. You got to listen to what they're saying. If they say they like blue and you're talking about red, I'd like to have, you know, oh, this red car is really, really great. Uh, but I, And they said blue, you missed the whole point. If they say they like the they they don't want they want a, a two story house and you're talking about a one story house and all oh, how beautiful this house is, you gotta listen. Let them talk. They will show you how to close them. Customers, hey, they just want to be heard and they want you to know that hey hey listen listen to me. So just remember, when you're a salesperson, we get excited, we get amped up, we get edgy, we think we got the, we got all the answers and everything, and barking like a, like you're at a, a ballpark. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Too much information. Sometimes it's information overload. So just have a conversation with your customer. Talk a little about what's important to them about their family, what's going to happen, and once you get the sale change it just write up the order and just kind of have a cordial conversation and if you have to get out of there pretty quick because you're limited to the amount of time 
Just remember where you are in your process. You have to have a selling process, guys. It just works that way. And my name is Gary Lee Stanley. I am your sales guy. And like I said, who is talking more, you or the customer, and why it matters? It really does matter who's talking the most. Um, like I said, I have about 5, 10, depending on what product I'm selling, questions. I listen. I let them go for a minute. Now, if they start rolling into the hills, start going off on tangents, I kind of uh, reel them back in by asking them another question. And if you ask questions that open the customer up, you have more of an opportunity to sell something. It's just that simple, guys. You know, selling is a great art. It's communication. Think about when you go out to buy something. Do you want the salesperson to spew crap all over you, tell you a bunch of stuff that's not interesting to them, that's kind of boring? Would you buy from that person, or do you buy from a person who's open, who asks you questions, and who listens? Remember, take the cotton out of your ears and put it in your mouth. Just a saying, okay? Don't do it. But it's basically saying that you got two ears to listen with and you got one mouth. So what should you be doing more? God knows what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing. And when you're out there selling, who's talking more? Are you doing all the talking? And you, because what happens is I've seen it in my own sales. Okay, you'll start talking and talking and talking and talking. And the customer's already said, well, okay, I'll take it. And you're talking and talking and talking and talking. And the next thing you know, they've talked themselves out of a cell. Been there, I've done that. I wrote them bad checks. I'm just saying. So my name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. i got a lot of videos on sales, guys. I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Share these videos. Go ahead and subscribe. And make sure that you get out there and sell something and remember, who is talking more, you or your customers? Why does it matter? Think about it. Think about it. Give your customer a break. Sell them something. Ask them some good questions. Listen to the answers. Write down the answers. And then use that as ammunition to sell them. So, Mr. Bob, you said that you like the blue car. Okay, we've got the blue car in stock. You said you like the leather package. You did say that, right? And you did say that you were thinking about going on vacation. And this car would be perfect for when you went on vacation. Well, you know what? We just went on a test drive. I've got it all gassed up for you. Are you ready to go? You ask simple questions. You don't make it complicated. You listen to the customer because they will tell you what you need to know to close them. So go out there and sell some. Make it simple, okay? Who's talking? More you, okay? Or your customers? Why it matters. Now you know. <laughs> I'm glad you were listening. Have a nice day. Now you know. Go sell some. All right.